what's up everyone and welcome to your eighth Google Chrome extension development tutorial and from this tutorial onwards it will be kind of a mini series going on for the development of a new Google Chrome extension so the idea that came to my mind is to create a kind of extension which allows a user to share any text or any image or any page or maybe a link as well to their Twitter account immediately without going to Twitter and opening it and all that stuff so what would be the purpose of the extension is uh, the purpose uh, the extension would do like the user would select the text or any link or anything and would right click on the text and just like these three options we'll have our own option coded down here in this menu and once the user clicks on this uh, one of that option then a pop-up box would pop up here somewhere on the screen and then the text would be automatically filled in for the user and just user had to just click on the share button so the idea is pretty much simple and I hope that with the help of this mini series we will be able to learn more about Chrome extension and how the Google APIs work for the Chrome extension so to start with I have deleted all the unnecessary files we had from our previous tutorials in Chrome extension I have this updated background or uh, sorry manifest.json file which has only one background script background.js and this persistent false now what this persistent false actually means is that uh, if we don't include this line then what happen what will happen is this background script would keep on running in the background and would eat unnecessary chrome memory so just to free resources and keep the browsing of the user fast we can add this persistence false so that this background script goes to sleep when it is not required for example when the user is browsing normally clicking links then this script is not required this script is only required when the user right clicks on any selection or anywhere on the page so this persistence uh, false would help uh, the user memory to be free so this tutorial was a short introduction to what we'll be doing in our future tutorials and how we'll be con completing this extension and I will start the coding of this extension from the next tutorial so don't forget to subscribe and keep watching my videos thanks for watching